Ever wondered what exploits a pen tester must know? Welcome to the intriguing world of pen testing, a critical domain within the vast field of cybersecurity. Pen testing, short for penetration testing, is a practice where ethical hackers, often called white hats, simulate cyber attacks on a computer system. Their objective, to identify and rectify security vulnerabilities before malicious entities can exploit them. Think of a pen tester as a burglar turned security consultant. They break into your cyber home, not to steal or cause harm, but to point out the weak spots in your locks, windows, and alarm systems. The more robust your security, the safer your data. The role of a pen tester is crucial in today's digital era, where cyber threats are lurking at every corner of the internet. Their knowledge of common exploits is what shields us from potential cyber attacks. Today, we delve into the top exploits that every pen tester should be familiar with. First on the list, the infamous SQL injection. SQL, or Structured Query Language, is the standard language for dealing with relational databases. SQL injection is a technique where an attacker inserts malicious SQL code into a query. The result? A well-orchestrated SQL injection can manipulate the database, leading to unauthorized access, data theft, data loss, or even denial of service. Imagine this. You're at a party and your name's on the guest list. The bouncer checks it, and you're in. But what if someone could trick the bouncer into thinking everyone's on the guest list? That's SQL injection in a nutshell. It's like a secret knock, a way to trick the system into thinking the attacker has an invitation. The real kicker here is how devastating it can be if left unchecked. A successful SQL injection can lead to some serious fallout. We're talking about unauthorized access to sensitive data, like credit card information, social security numbers, confidential corporate information, the list goes on. And it's not just about stealing data. SQL injection can also be used to insert malicious data into a database, modify or delete the data, or even render the database useless. It's a powerful tool in the wrong hands and a nightmare scenario for any organization. But there's good news. Understanding SQL injection, its methods and its telltale signs can help in preventing such attacks. By implementing appropriate security measures and regular audits, organizations can protect their databases from SQL injection. Knowing how to spot and prevent SQL injection can save an organization from massive data breaches. Next up we have cross-site scripting, often abbreviated as XSS. This is a type of security vulnerability typically found in web applications. XSS enables attackers to inject malicious scripts into web pages viewed by other users. A cross-site scripting vulnerability may be used by attackers to bypass access controls, such as the same origin policy. There are three main types of XSS, stored, reflected, and DOM-based. Stored XSS, also known as persistent XSS, is the most damaging. In this type, the malicious script is permanently stored on the target servers. Reflected XSS, on the other hand, reflects the injected script off the web server, making it appear as a part of the returned web page. Lastly, DOM-based XSS is a form of XSS, where the entire tainted data flow from source to sync happens in the browser, without any part of the tainted data being sent to the web server. The danger of XSS lies in its ability to steal user information, manipulate web content, and even control the affected user's interactions with the application. It's a potentially devastating exploit that can lead to data theft or manipulation. The importance of understanding XSS for pen testers cannot be overstated. An effective pen tester must know how to identify potential XSS vulnerabilities, understand how they can be exploited, and how to fix them. This knowledge is crucial in safeguarding web applications and protecting users' data. Understanding XSS helps to protect web applications from attacks that can lead to data theft or manipulation. A number three on the list is buffer overflow. In the realm of cybersecurity, a buffer overflow is a situation where an application receives more data than it can handle. This excess data then spills over into other areas of the application's memory. Picture it like this. You're pouring water into a glass, but you don't stop when it's full. The water overflows, spilling onto the table and possibly damaging anything else that's nearby. This is precisely what happens in a buffer overflow, except instead of water, it's data. And instead of a table, it's other parts of the system's memory. This overflow can corrupt data, crash the system, or worse, allow an attacker to execute arbitrary code, providing an opportunity to seize control of the entire system. 
Here's where the role of a pen tester becomes pivotal. Pen testers or penetration testers are like the guardians of the cyber realm. They intentionally probe systems, looking for weak spots like buffer overflows. By identifying these vulnerabilities, they can help to patch them before malicious actors have the chance to exploit them. The process of finding and fixing buffer overflows can be complex. It requires a deep understanding of computer memory and how different software applications handle data. However, with the right knowledge and tools, a proficient pen tester can identify a buffer overflow, understand its potential impact, and recommend effective solutions to mitigate the risk. Buffer overflows may seem complex, but a proficient pen tester knows how to identify and mitigate them. Moving on, let's talk about man-in-the-middle attacks. Imagine you're sending a letter to a friend, but unbeknownst to you, there's someone at the post office secretly opening your mail, reading it, then resealing it and sending it on its way. That's essentially what a man-in-the-middle attack, or MIDIM for short, is in the digital world. In a METM attack, the attacker secretly intercepts and possibly alters the communication between two parties who believe they are directly communicating with each other. The attacker makes independent connections with the victims and relays messages between them, making them believe they are talking directly to each other over a private connection, when in fact the entire conversation is controlled by the attacker. My TM attacks pose a significant threat because they can be used to steal login credentials, personal information, or even manipulate content. This is why understanding MITM attacks is so crucial for pen testers. It's all about recognizing the signs of such an attack, like unexpected certificate warnings or slower than usual data transmission. MITM attacks can be performed in various ways, including IP spoofing, DNS spoofing, HTTPS spoofing, or even SSL hijacking. The common thread, though, is that they all involve the attacker inserting themselves into the communication chain. In the end, understanding and preventing MITM attacks is about being vigilant and maintaining good cybersecurity hygiene. MITM attacks can be extremely damaging, making them a critical exploit for every pen tester to understand. Last but not least, we have phishing attacks. Now, phishing, unlike the leisurely pastime, is a malicious act where attackers masquerade as trustworthy entities to bait unsuspecting users into revealing sensitive information. These can include passwords, credit card numbers, or even social security numbers. The methods used in phishing attacks are as diverse as they are deceptive. Emails are the most common, where attackers craft convincing messages, often impersonating reputable companies with urgent calls to action. These messages typically contain links to fraudulent websites designed to collect your personal information. Another method is spear phishing, where attackers target specific individuals or organizations. They tailor their approach using information gathered about the target, making the attack more convincing and therefore more dangerous. Phishing attacks can cause substantial damage both financially and to a company's reputation. Imagine the fallout if a major corporation inadvertently leaks thousands of customer credit card details. It's a nightmare scenario that can lead to significant revenue loss and diminished customer trust. This is where pen testers come in. As a pen tester, your job is to identify potential phishing threats and advise on preventative measures. This might involve testing an organization's email filters or educating employees on how to spot and handle potential phishing attempts. Being aware of phishing techniques is essential for any pen tester to help organizations stay one step ahead of attackers. To recap, we've covered five key exploits that every pen tester must know. Firstly, we dove into SQL injection, a classic technique that manipulates a site's database through misuse of its own SQL code. By understanding how this exploit works, you can identify and patch vulnerabilities in your own or your client's systems. Next, we explored cross-site scripting, or XSS. This exploit allows attackers to inject malicious scripts into web pages viewed by other users. Mastering the intricacies of XSS is essential in today's web-centric world. We then delved into buffer overflow, an exploit that takes advantage of a program's lack of bounds checking. By understanding this, you can prevent unauthorized access and potential system crashes in your network. Our journey continued with man-in-the-middle attacks, where an attacker secretly intercepts and possibly alters the communication between two parties. This exploit underscores the importance of secure communication channels. 
Lastly, we examined phishing attacks, a social engineering technique used to trick users into revealing sensitive information. While not a technical exploit in the traditional sense, understanding its psychology is key to building robust defenses. These exploits serve as a launchpad in the world of pen testing. They represent some of the most common and damaging threats out there. By understanding these, you not only arm yourself with the knowledge to launch effective tests, but also build stronger defenses against these attacks. Remember, the best defense is a good offense. Stay informed, stay secure.